What's up, y'all? What's going on? What's good? Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. You know, every year at this time, coaches get fired in the NFL. And then there's guys like David Culley who only get one year at the job. He went 4-13. and Players played hard for him. He gets fired, even though he was going to be a short, short-term coach, coach anyway. And then people get mad saying, well, look, um, wow, there's only like one or two head coaches in the NFL. At the present time, there's only one black head coach, and that's Mike Tomlin, who's a great coach. And then you got Yahoo, Google, all, this, all these other publications, companies start putting, look, there's only one black coach in the NFL. And everybody debates it on social media, and they're arguing, and they're arguing back and forth. Look, the NFL is a corporation. Most corporations in America, they only got a few black people working for them. Look at the ratio. The NFL is no different than, say, a, another Fortune 500 company. No different. You're going to always have a sprinkle of blacks, maybe a couple other people working at them companies. It's never, we're never going to be the majority. Uh, people that own these corporations... Most, they're mostly white people. They're going to hire people they feel more comfortable with. And I don't really want to hear about qualifications. Because when we get a job of any importance, we have tons of qualifications. Like we, they just don't give us a shot. Like we, we don't get it like that. But look, so let me finish what I'm talking about. I'm getting off, getting off uh, track. So then... NFL coaches get fired after the season. Then they said it's one or two black guys, the head coaches, and why can't qualified blacks get jobs, blah, blah, blah. NFL puts in a bunch of Rooney rules and all this other stuff, and nothing really changes. I'm saying, look, black, black coaches make all their money as assistants and then look to get a head coaching job at HBCU. You have, you have, if you really want to be a head coach, that's pretty much the move. Your chances are better becoming a head coach in the HBCU, not the NFL. Not the NFL. Look, you got good head coaches in the NFL. Jim Caldwell, Lovey Smith, 500 record or better. They get one shot and then they, they're done. They don't get no more. They get no more head coaching jobs. Now you got a few black guys that got more than one head coaching job, but there is outstanding. Tony Dungy. Uh, Dennis Green. But for the most part, black head coaches get one shot and it's over. One shot. Regardless of how good they are, they get one shot and it's over. But I get tired. It's exhausting. Just like corporate America, you got a couple of blacks um, on these big companies. NFL is a real big corporation. You got a few blacks working in NFL in big, in big positions. I'm not talking about the football field. I'm talking in decision-making positions. That's how it's always going to be. It's never going to change. NFL could put all kind of rules in place. It's never going to change. Now, when blacks start owning football teams, then they can start hiring majority black people. That's just how it is. That's how it works. That's how it works. People hire who they're comfortable with. So I'm not buying into it. Mike Tomlin's the last head coach, black head coach right now in the NFL. I'm sure one guy will get a job. I'm sure he'll be, it'll probably be two black coaches in 2022. That's how it is. Why get upset? You want to be a head coach, a, a football head coach? Go to HBCU. Go to a high school. But I'm not getting upset about this. It is what it is. Just make the best of it. Uh, figure something out. Do something different. This is Corner Sports. Now I'll talk to these guys later.